मैं विद्या बेड़म कर हूँ कर्नाटक स्टेट से और मैं गुलबर्गा डिस्ट्रिक्ट से बिलोंग करती हूँ सो so, मुझे पास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स से मेरे को अस्थमा और एलर्जी का इश्यू था सो एलर्जी मीन्स इट हैज़ आने मेरे को स्किन प्रॉब्लम बोलकर डायग्नोज करे थे इससे पहले मैं महाराष्ट्र में ट्रीटमेंट ले रही थी एलर्जी के वास्ते लेकिन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स मेरे को स्टीरॉयड्स दे के कोई डिफरेंस नहीं हुआ है जब है मेरे को यहाँ पर नागार्जुन डॉक्टर पलमेलॉजिस्ट सर को मेरे को डायग्नोस करे यहाँ पर आने के बाद कम से कम करीब पाँच साल से अभी यहाँ पर मैं ट्रीटमेंट ले रही हूँ मेरे को एलर्जी का स्किन एलर्जी का प्रॉब्लम इंटायरली कम हो गया है और मेरे को अस्थमा का प्रॉब्लम भी कम हो गया है और सर जो डायग्नोज करे सो है इवन दे है स्टॉप टू मैं ऑल द स्टेरॉयड्स इन अ टेपरिंग डोजेस और रिसेंटली लास्ट मंथ आई हैड सफ़र द कोविड पॉजिटिव से लेकिन मेरे को कुछ डर था कुछ एंटीबायोटिक्स एलर्जी है मेरे को बहुत सारा सो so, एंटीबायोटिक्स से मुझे एलर्जी होगा मेरे को वो एक मेरे को प्रॉब्लम था सो so, डॉक्टर ने कहा अभी आपने पाँच साल से थेरेपी लिया है इससे आपको कुछ भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा इवन अस्थमा का भी और इवन आपका स्किन एलर्जी का एलर्जी का भी बोलकर सो so, अभी मैं अभी एब्सोलूटली बहुत नॉर्मल हूँ सो आई थैंक यू वेरी मच टू द सर एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच टू द यशोद हॉस्पिटल ऑल्सो I am Dr. Nagarjuna Maturu, consultant pulmonary medicine at uh, Yashoda Hospital, Somaji Guda. So we'll be discussing a success story of a lady named Vidya Balamkar, who had come to us with refractory skin allergy and asthma. So when she had come to us, she had been suffering from this skin allergy called as urticaria, where you have lot of weals all over the body for the last several years, and she also has a bad asthma. so when she had come to us she had already gone to several states she is basically from karnataka she had been to maharashtra she had been to karnataka she had been to several other states and tried all therapies lot of tests have been done uh, but still she was not better many doctors have asked her to stop eating so many food stop doing this stop doing that so she had basically gone into a fear of disease she had curtailed her lifestyle she was not able to go to her occupation do her uh, work properly she was very affected, very significantly affected with this uh, problem so when when we had first assessed her in the opd we had taken a detailed history understood that this is basically an allergic problem of the skin and the lungs we had run certain tests and then we identified that it's basically driven by a molecule called IgE IgE that's called immunoglobulin E which uh, is the important mediator for developing this asthmatic and allergic symptoms urticaria and asthma so we decided uh, to start her on a medicine called as omalizumab this is a group of medicines called biologics which are the new medicines for treating such allergic conditions like asthma and urticaria we had seen her 4 years ago and we had started her on only this one medicine called as omalizumab which is very simple it is to be taken as an subcutaneous injection just like an insulin at 2 to 4 weeks interval initially we started 2 weeks then now we made it 1 month and now she is taking once in every 2 months and then we had not given her any high dose medicines no steroids and we had asked her to be normal with her life we only added one medicine this is a wonder drug called omalizumab and since the initiation of this medicine her symptoms have completely resolved since that time till now she has no urticaria she earlier she was not able to eat half of the foods every food item would trigger an allergy now she is able to eat everything as she wants to she is able to do all her activities and her asthma also has become better controlled so this is the importance of this new medicines called biologics in addition to omalizumab we have now several other biologics like mepolizumab bendalizumab so these group of medicines are rescue therapy for people with asthma and other allergies whose symptoms do not respond to the conventional medicines if we choose the patient correctly and give the medicine correctly you can make a significant impact on the patient's life and we can actually make the lives of many asthmatics a lot better